Hello and welcome to Health Dialogue Show. I am Dr. Bhumika and today we are shedding light on a respiratory virus that has been making waves but isn't as widely known, human metanumovirus or HMPV. As we continue to navigate through flu seasons and respiratory challenges, understanding HMPV is more important than ever. Today we are joined by Dr. Jean Asiruddin who will help us raise awareness about HMPV, its symptoms, how it spreads and most importantly how we can protect ourselves from this virus. Dr. Jean Asiruddin is an MBBS MD. He's a consultant in internal medicine at Fortis Hospital with more than 5 years of experience in the field of medicine. He has done his MBBS from Bangalore Medical College and MD in General Medicine from AMCH Bijapur. He has also done Fellowship in Management of Diabetes and its Complications from Royal College of Physicians, UK. He specialized in treating infectious diseases, diabetes and its complications, hypertension, thyroid disorders, respiratory diseases and other general medical illnesses. Let's look at what Dr. G. Nasiruddin has to say. So, hello everyone. This is Dr. Nasir Desai, uh, Consultant Physician at uh, Fortis Hospital, Kani. Road, Bangalore. So, as Dr. Bhumika introduced the, to today's topic, we will be discussing in brief about uh, the HMPV virus which is making news for not so good reasons all over, uh, all over the world. So, let me just brief you and educate you regarding this uh, new virus. New virus in the sense, this virus has been existed from before, it's just come into the news uh, now, it's become a star now, you know. As uh, routine words, if I have to say. So, a human metanumovirus is a respiratory virus, uh, just like a flu like virus, what we say, just like a simple flu virus, uh, which mainly affects the respiratory system. So, the symptoms can range from, you know, being asymptomatic to simple flu like symptoms, as in, you know, having fever, cough, uh, running nose, headache, myalgia, myalgia in the sense body aches. So these can be the routine symptoms of uh, HMPV virus and it can range to complicated uh, symptoms like breathlessness, you know, uh, full-fledged pneumonia where, where patient saturation is dropping and will require ICU care and all this. So this is in brief regarding the HMPV virus. So also, uh, how does it spread? So, uh, let us uh, uh, deal in detail about the common doubts what we have uh, in general. So, all of us have doubts, ki how does it spread? Uh, how can I prevent myself from getting spread from the virus, getting the virus, is, uh, virus transmitted to my body? So, the main uh, thing about this is, so main thing about this is, uh, so the uh, transmission of the virus can be uh, either through direct contact or through droplet. So it can ha also happen through contact surfaces as well. You know, just by uh, touching the contact surfaces where which is contaminated by the virus. You know, shaking hands with people who have uh, the disease. You know, droplet infection to you know severe myalgia or you know uh, respiratory distress, pneumonia requiring ICU admissions. Uh, respiratory failure so now who are at risk who are at risk so it is a simple flu like virus which has been existing from before it has got into news because of the number of people affected by it and once you have too many people affected by it you tend to see the serious varieties of cases as well just like we got to see in, see in covid so people of you know extreme age group like people who are who belong to the child age group like you know uh, ranging from 2 years to 14 years and those who are beyond 50-55 years and those who are immunocompromised immunocompromised or are low in immunity or who have comorbidities comorbidities means some other existing diseases other existing diseases which cause low immunity as in case of diabetes you know some people might have uh, COPD, COPD in the sense uh, respiratory illnesses, predisposed respiratory illnesses like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, people who have asthma, uh, who have emphysema. So these are the medical respiratory illnesses where the lung already is predisposed for secondary infections otherwise as well. But in general, it can predispose to any flu-like virus or any other virus as well. So this is how the uh, virus produces symptoms. So next coming to the detection of it, how do you detect these virus? So just as we used to do RT-PCR for COVID, so now we can just take a throat swab and send to, uh, you know, 
um, for RT PCR. As we used to do ra- rapid antigen testing or rat test, what we used to do for COVID, those have those kits have still not been, uh, you know, uh, though the test exists, the uh, kits aren't easily available because of the magnitude of the case load. The case load is very less. Initially, in the first week of Jan, it caused panic elsewhere. We used to see. reels we used to see on social media youtube news channels that you know it is creating havoc in china but it is not doing like that in case uh, presently you know we are getting to hear less about those virus or virus like in this even in india as uh, you know primary physician we are also not getting to see too much of hmpv cases or hospitalizations or confirmed cases so so there is no need to panic as of now or feel uh, you know Uh, feared that you know uh, covid like situation might come having said that we have to be pre- prepared so preparedness is the least thing what we can do prepare how prepare by you know wash I mean, prepare by uh, you know uh, having habits which prevent uh, transmission of the uh, disease mainly so it can be usage of simple mask it can be you know washing hands after uh, you know touching contaminated surfaces or you know greeting people it's the same precautions what you used to follow during covid avoiding you know uh, too much of public uh, crowded places uh, you know um, trying to avoid at least or if you are going if you don't have an option than using a metro or something use good masks you know use sanitizers after coming back you know and most important thing once you develop any symptom like fever cough or any other symptoms which i have mentioned before in the video you have to consult your primary doctor the issue always happens when people don't consult the primary doctors they think you know these symptoms are manageable or if i go to a doctor they might scare us that you might have this that they'll simply get us tested this is a very wrong way to see because many problems we face during covid covid because of this negligence only a doctor just doesn't see your symptoms he examines you he examines your chest so if he feels that you know your lungs are also affected he might ask for some more test and you know the complications can be prevented by you know doing this so this is very important okay this is very important so tre- seeing your primary physician whenever you develop symptoms is very important in at least preventing the complications or landing yourself in bigger trouble so this is very important so this is as far as the symptoms the transmission uh, the detection of the disease i told what precautions we need to take and um, when we need to see a primary physician so in detail as far as some uh, people ask me if vaccines are available currently there is no uh, you know direct or uh, uh, you know specific vaccine available for that uh, as of now neither we have to panic that are we uh, looking for a covid like situation presently because the hospitals currently are not seeing any cases as of now so simple flu like symptoms definitely are there but flu the reason for flu can be anything there are many viruses which can cause flu like symptoms right ranging from influenza even influenza has many zero types which can cause flu like symptoms so just like any respiratory virus this has been existed from before and you know it is making some uh, noise or news uh, for all uh, special reasons according to the virus so we just have to be very cautious as of now as far as public gatherings uh, attending crowding crowded places is concerned just prepare yourself use good masks you know wash your hands these are the only few good things which will make you help land up in a bigger trouble i mean avoid making you help avoid landing up in a bigger trouble so i think this is in brief about the hmp virus so i will just leave it to my host here dr bhumika thank you so much sir thank you so much for uh, giving us all the key insights into hmpv yeah thank you